Hello again. Okay, so we're doing third laws, and uh, we just looked at third law one and third law two, and it's third law two that I want to focus on. Um, but I think it's important. Let's just quickly write down third law one again, which says that if I have a coefficient and inside my uh, sorry a, a radical with a degree d, and inside my radical I've got a base and an exponent, then my exponent can be divided by the radical's degree. Okay, that was the one. And the next one was, and I'll keep it simple for this one, if I've got two radicals, the input in the one, and the same radical being multiplied with a different input, then all I need to do is I can keep the same radical and just multiply the input. So in other words, if the radical is the same, I can multiply the input. Now, how is that going to help us to simplify third? Now, simplified third means that the uh, the third is written, okay? The third is written in as a coefficient. Coefficient. I am lacking an f there. Let's say times two coefficient uh, times. That might confuse you. Let's put another F there. Coefficient times third, where let's call it an S third, where the S third cannot be simplified. Further, further simplified. Okay, excuse my terrible handwriting simplified but you'll understand what I actually mean by this in just a moment my easiest example I can think of is the square root of 8 Now, the square root of 8 is a third and it's a s but it can be simplified it's not a simplified third let me show you how we'll use this idea backwards okay this law backwards because 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3 can be written as 2 squared times 2 to the power of 1 so what did I do I said well uh, 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 1 uh, when the bases are the same the exponents can be added so I'm going the backwards I'm breaking up the 3 exponent into two parts where the uh, two bases and exponents uh, where the one base and exponent's exponent is divisible by the degree. The 2 can be divided by the 2, and the other one can't. So that would be the aim. Okay, And now I can use this idea backwards. So I've got two uh, factors in here. So I can split up my uh, radical over the two factors. So this can become the square root of 2 squared times the square root of 2 and that means I've got square root of 2 squared is just 2 times the square root of 2 why do I say this is just 2 because I'm using the first law where I just take the radical the 2 there and I divide it with the exponent and 2 divided by 2 is 2 to the power of 1 this one um, remains 2 to the power of a half okay and there's my simplified third see how the square root of 8 is equal to 2 square roots of 2. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's go for the square root of 20. There we go, the square root of 20. 20 can be written in prime numbers as 4 times 5, but 4 is 2 squared times 5. Okay. Again, this time you can see that I have two factors where one of the factors has an exponent that is divisible by the degree, which is 2. So this is 2 square root of 2 to the power of 2 times the square root of 5. And this gives me square root of 2 to the power of 2, that's just 2, times square root of 5 which means that the square root of 20 
is equal to 2 square root of 5. 5 can't be broken. It's already um, in its least number of primes. Okay, so let me do another example. Let's go for a cube root. The cube root of, let's go for 32. The cube root of 32. Now, 32 can be written as, so we've got the cube root, 2 to the power of 5. Now 5 is not divisible by 3, but 5 can be written as 3 plus 2. So I can break it up into 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 2. So this can be 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 2. This is all still in the cube root. And now I can write this as the cube root of 3 and 2 to the power of 3 times the cube root of 2 to the power of 2. Okay. Now, this one can't simplify because the exponent is not divisible by 3, so we'll keep it and just simplify the 2 to be square root of 4. This will just be, the, sorry, not square root, the cube root of 4. And this one, 3, can divide into that 3. So this is just 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3, which is 1. Okay, and I'll leave that. So the cube root of 32 is equal to 2 cube roots of 4. So if you go and use your calculator to get this answer, the cube root of 4, and you multiply it with 2, the answer you get will be the same as taking this cube root of 32. Okay, so this is a simplified form of that. Okay, so let's do one more. I'll ask you to simplify. Okay, so let's do the square root of 50 plus the square root of 250. Sorry, not 250, just 200. Okay, square root of 200. Now, Okay, now you might go ahead and say, oh, well, that's easy. When the uh, radicals are the same, I can add the inside. So you'll say this is 250. Okay, but that's not true because that's not what our rule says. Our rule doesn't say when our radicals are the same, we can add up the inside. It says when we're multiplying, that's the important part. When we're multiplying two radicals, we can multiply the insides. And that's not what's happening here. So we can't do this. Okay, so we're not allowed to do this. What we are allowed to do is just break them up. Because we're adding, we have to get to a point where we can add two things that are the same. Square roots of 50 and square roots of 200 are not the same things. So let's first see uh, square root of 50, how we can simplify that first. So we've got 5 squared times 2. 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50. So that's what I did to get the 50. And then for 200 is 100 times 2. It's also times 2. 100 can be written as 10 squared. Okay. Now, you, can't, you can do 10 into smaller primes if you want to. But I just want something with an exponent that can be divided by my, uh, my, by my degree there in front, which is a 2. And that's fine. So now I can break it up over the 2. So this is the square root of 5 squared times 2 the square root of 2 plus the square root of 10 squared times the square root of 2 and this gives me the square root of 5 squared is 5 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 10 squared is 10 times the square root of 2 and this is our final answers 5 plus 10 is 15 square roots of 2 now, if you want to go and write this again as, as a radical, in other words, not as a simplified radical without the coefficient, this would be our answer. That would be fine. But just to show you that this is not equal to the square root of 250, let me show you why not. Because if, if we go backwards, we first have to write that this 15 came from, could have come from, the square root of 15 squared times square root of 2. So here's what I want to show you is uh, if I want to take a coefficient, 
or a number and place it inside a radical and let's just give that radic that number the same degree as an exponent okay I hope that didn't sound confusing okay and now 15 squared is how much that's 225 okay so that's 225 and now so this 15 squared might as well have just been 225 and now since we've got the same radicals we can multiply the interiors to give us 225 times 2 is 450 okay so that's very odd isn't it that the square root of 50 plus the square root of 200 is actually the square root of 450 that's odd but that's the truth okay I'll leave it here I hope you understand what we mean by simplifying a third which m simply means that we break down a third into um, into factors where one of the factors have an exponent or one or more of the factors have an exponent that is divisible by the coefficient if uh, sorry by the degree of the radical and then we simply simplify using the laws that we have here if none of them could be let's take for example the square root of 6 the square root of 6 can be written as the square root of 2 times 3 but neither they in primes but neither one have an exponent that is divisible by the 2 so the square root of 6 is already even though it can break up into um, factors it the factors can I don't have exponents that is divisible by the degree which means that it is already square root of 6 is already as simple as it can be but that's me for now I'll see you in the next video where we're doing a few more third laws